What is up everyone, welcome back to the lecture. Uh, in this tutorial I'm going to be discussing some relational operators in NIM and how they're used. And for this particular example I'm going to be using numbers. So we're going to start with let A, or let itself, and remember we can use multivariable declaration. And we can say A uh, equal to 5, B is equal to 4, and then from here we can echo, okay, um, a is greater than B, and we can use, you know, A greater than B, so you can use that notation. I'm just going to copy this line, a few lines over. A less than B is, a, is equal. Like that. So we're going to check here if A is smaller than B. We can check here if A is equal to B. We can check here if they're not equal. And we can check greater than, uh, less than or equal or greater than or equal. Okay. So if we echo all these lines, we'll notice that, first of all, let's compile this. So nim compile uh, dot nim, like that. Successful. Okay. So now we can run it. And as you can see, it will tell you, okay, A is greater than B, true, A is less than B, false, equal to, actually, let me fix this. So, just so it's more clear. So these are the main operators that you're going to use in your logic uh, in your future programming career. If you ever get into NIM, this is what you need most of the time, unless you later on get into like bit shifting or something like that. But for now, this will suffice for most of your projects. Okay, so this is all you need. So you just have the greater than, the less than. This is how you compare two numbers. So you say equal equals. This is how you make sure they're not the same. This is how you make sure they're less than or equal, etc., etc. So now if we print this, hopefully it's more clear this time. So as you can see, this is what it's going to print. So when you make these or use these operators, it will print a Boolean variable, which we'll get into next lecture, which is basically just a true or false. And it will tell you uh, uh, what the result is. And based on that, you can make logic for games, applications, algorithm, etc., etc. So that's it for this tutorial. That's all I wanted to show you. Uh, I hope this helped you out. And uh, I'll see you next lecture. Peace.